Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to understand uh, 850 on interfacing applications. So first, let us uh, take uh, interfacing uh, 8051 with the ADC. So we need to understand uh, the importance of ADC. ADC stands for uh, analog to digital converters are among the most widely used uh, devices for the data acquisition. So in this uh, real world, uh, we know that physical quantities such as uh, temperature, uh, uh, pressure of a uh, liquid or uh, wind, so all are available in the form of analog. But our digital computers uh, will do processing with uh, zeros and ones. So whenever you want to change the quantities or uh, for example, the analog signal uh, parameters, so we need to do a processing. So we can't handle the analog signals as it is. So we need to convert them into a digital. Then digital values either zero or one uh, information will be represented. Uh, so that uh, uh, means digital computers can be used for processing these things. So for that purpose, we are going to convert analog to digital converters. A physical quantity like uh, temperature, pressure, humidity, and velocity, etc., is converted to electric. Well, that is voltage and the current signals using the devices called the transducers or the sensors. So these are the sensors or the device I means transducers uh, when convert analog to uh, means uh, real uh, uh, analog signals uh, into a uh, uh, electrical and uh, means electrical uh, voltage and the current. We need an analog to digital converter to translate the analog signal to digital numbers so that microcontroller can read and process them. So once a digital uh, form of the information is available. So using uh, digital computers, we can process them. So that is the main uh, objective of uh, converting analog to digital converters. So let us see the chip, uh, what we are using in order to interface with uh, 8051 is ADC 0804 chip. Uh, this is an analog to digital converter. It works with a plus five volts and has a resolution of eight bits. So different uh, ADCs are available with the different resolutions with uh, uh, 10 bits or 12 bits like that. So Conversion time here uh, is a major factor in judging an ADC. A conversion time is defined as a time it takes the ADC to convert the analog input to digital number or a binary value. In ADC 0804, uh, conversion time varies depending on the clock signals applied to clock R and clock in pins of a ADC chip, but it cannot be faster than 110 microseconds. So this we need to remember, we call this as a self-clocking. Uh, ADC chip, let us see the details about this chip. So it is a dual in package, uh, total will be having uh, 20 pins. Uh, pin 1 is uh, CS, we call it a chip select. Pin 2 is uh, RD, stands for read. Pin 3 is WR, uh, read, uh, write we call. Then pin 4 is clock in, pin 5 is INTR. Then 6 is VN plus, VN minus, uh, we call them as a uh, differential inputs. Uh, 8 is uh, A ground, we call it analog ground. 9 is V reference by 2. Then 10 is uh, digital ground. Then from 11 to 18, uh, it is a uh, data uh, lines. Uh, data means 8-bit uh, uh, binary after converting analog to digital is available on these pins. Then uh, pin number 19 is clock R. Then pin 20 is a uh, VCC. That is a uh, uh, power supply for the IC2 function. So this is the uh, details about the uh, ADC 0804 chip. Let us see uh, individual uh, uh, pin uh, details or the description. Uh, CS is a uh, chip select as we said earlier. Uh, chip select is an active input used to activate the ADC 0804 chip. To access uh, ADC, uh, this pin must be low. So RD stands for read. This is an input signal and is active low again. Uh, ADC converts the analog input to its binary equivalent and holds it in the internal register. So this particular pin is used to get the converted data out of the ADC chip. When CS is zero, if I to low pulse is applied to RD pin, uh, RD pin when you apply this, uh, you are able to read that. So 8 bit digital output shows up at the D0 to D7 data pin so that you can read the value. So this RD pin also can be called as a output enable. So write pin, uh, WR stands for write actually. So we call it as a start of conversion. This is an active low input used to inform the ADC to start the conversion process. If C is, so means chip select is zero, when WR makes a high to low transition, ADC uh, starts converting the analog input value of V in to an eight bit digital number. When data conversion is complete, 
INTR pin is forced low by ADC 0804. This is very important. Uh, means INTR is used for monitoring whether conversion is done or not. So clock in and clock out uh, plays important role in uh, uh, having the conversion time. So clock in is an input connected to external clock is used for timing. However, 0804 as an internal clock generator. To use the internal clock generator of ADC, the clock in and clock R pins are connected to a capacitor and transistor as shown in the figure. In that case, the clock frequency is determined by, it is given by the formula F equal to 1 divided by 1.1 into RC. Then R and C values, if you substitute, you are going to decide the frequency of the uh, clock. So the typical values of R and C are 10 kilo and uh, 150 kilo, sorry, 150 picofarad. Substituting these above equations, equation we get the frequency as 606 kilohertz. In that case, the conversion time is 110 microsecond. So INTR uh, stands for end of conversion. So this pin is an output pin and is uh, active low. So it is normally high uh, I pin and when the conversion is finished, it goes low to signal the CPU that the converted data is ready to, to be picked up. So we need to understand uh, INTR is used for uh, knowing whether the conversion is done or not. So after INTR goes low, we make CS0, chip select 0 and send a high to low pulse to the RD pin to get the data of the IDC chip. That is uh, after conversion, so INTR goes low. So we need to make chip select as a low and send high to low pulse on RD. Then we can read the data which is available on the data pins to the microcontroller. So VN plus and VN minus, these are the differential analog inputs where uh, VN is given by VN plus minus of VN minus. Often VN minus is a pin which is connected to the ground. VN plus pin is used as a analog input to, to be converted to a digital. So VCC, this is a power supply. It is also used as a reference voltage when V reference by two input pin uh, means pin nine is open. So uh, whenever you are applying analog input to a IC, so we need to remember it is given on a V reference to pin that is pin nine. Uh, if it is not connected, it is open, then we consider plus five volt as a uh, input analog voltage. So V reference pin nine, if it is a input voltage is, uh, means it is considered as a reference voltage. If this pin is open, the analog input voltage for the ADC 0804 is in the range of zero to five volts, the same as the VCC pin. However, there are many applications where analog input applied to VIN needs to be other than 0 to 5 volt range. For example, if uh, if you want a 0 to 4 volts to be converted into analog or 0 to 3 volt is connected to analog. In that case, uh, we need to give a different value on pin 9 uh, that is V reference by 2. So it is used to implement analog input voltage other than 0 to 5 volts. For example, if the analog input range needs to be uh, for example, 0 to 4. So V reference by 2 is connected to 2 volts. So let us see this uh, uh, in detail, uh, the range of voltages we need to give. So in this table, you can uh, refer, if it is not connected, V reference by 2, if it is a floating, then the range of analog input, what you are giving is 0 to 5. And uh, step size is calculated uh, since we are using a uh, 8 bit conversion. So you are getting uh, analog into a 8 bit distal. So 2 to the power of 8 is 256. So 5 volts is divided by 256. So each uh, step is having this particular uh, voltage range. So if you want to have a uh, range 0 to 4, V reference we need to give to 2. Then it is, uh, uh, it is multi means divided by 255, you are going to get this. So 1.5, if you give, so 0 to 3 is a analog input range. If you give 1.28, 0 to 2.56 is a range. So this table refers you the uh, V reference by two relation to a V in. That is V in is a analog input you are going to give it to the ADC 0804 chip. So this we need to understand uh, whatever the range if you want to give, so you can give it. So on the V reference by two pin, you need to give the voltage. If you are giving two volts, then range uh, varies from zero to four. So digital data output that is uh, D0 to D7 when uh, conversion is done, the data is available on this. And if you want to read that, we need to make again chip select as zero and RD should be forced to low. Then you can access the data uh, which is available on D0 to D7. 
So to calculate the output voltage using the formula, uh, d out is given by V in by step size. Uh, where d out is equal to digital data output, uh, then V in is analog input voltage and step size. Uh, we call it as a resolution, and uh, that is a small change uh, we get. So which is given by two into V reference by two divided by two fifty six for ADC. So analog ground and digital ground uh, separately we use uh, in the chip. Uh, in order to avoid the transient caused by the digital output. So these are the inputs providing the ground for both the analog and digital signals. Analog ground is connected to the ground of analog V in, while the digital ground is connected to the ground of VCC. VCC is a DC supply. So the digital ground is connected to VCC pin. So the reason that we have to, we have uh, two ground pins uh, is to isolate the analog V in signal from the transient voltages caused by the digital switching of the output D0 to D7. So uh, such isolation contributes to the accuracy of the digital data output. So now uh, let us see the steps of uh, data conversion by ADC. Uh, if you understand this, then it is easy for us to understand how to write assembly code in order to uh, make an interface of ADC with a AT AT51. So first thing is uh, we need to make a CS0 in order to make chip active send a high to low pulse to pin WR to start the conversion. Second step, keep monitoring the INTR pin. If INTR is low, the conversion is finished and we can go to the next step. If INTR is high, keep polling until it goes low. Means we need to wait for uh, till the conversion happens. After INTR has become low, uh, if conversion is out of the ADC chip that is available on D0 to D7. So these are the steps uh, we need to follow. And uh, if you understand the timing diagram, we'll come to know that how exactly the ADC is going to uh, convert analog to digital. So here first we need to make a chip select signal uh, zero. So when it is zero, we need to send uh, WR bar as zero. So that uh, starts conversion. Then you need to make it high. Then uh, we need to wait for INTR to become low. When INTR becomes low here, that indicates it's an end of conversion. Here it is start of conversion. So once uh, the conversion is done, then again we need to make CS as zero and RD I2 low value we need to fit. Then data which is available on D0 to D7 can be read. So it can be read and it will be uh, taken by the uh, into means it is taken into a uh, microcontroller then it will be processed so this is our timing diagram for adc 0804 uh, for uh, doing a conversion of analog into a digital so clock source uh, for adc 0804 is uh, very important because it is going to decide the conversion time so what is the time it is required for converting analog to digital depends on the clock what you are going to input. So the speed at which analog input is converted to digital output depends on the speed of the clock input. According to the ADC 0804 data sheets, the typical operating frequency is approximately 640 kilohertz at five volts. The following figure shows uh, two ways of uh, providing the clock to the ADC 0804. Uh, if you want uh, means self clocking or if you want to change the uh, time of conversion, then we need to have additional connection for the clock in. So let us see here the IT51 connection to ADC0804 with self-clocking we call. Here uh, clock R and clock in, uh, clock R and clock in is connected with the R and C. So this uh, uh, connection R and C is going to generate its own uh, frequency that we have calculated using the formula uh, F equal to 1 divided by 1.1 into RC. If you substitute you are going to generate 606 kilohertz frequency. This we call it is the self clocking. You are not connecting any external uh, crystal oscillator. With this, uh, and you can observe the connection here. The, this connection is very important with respect to uh, assembly coding. So we know that uh, P1.0 to P1.7 are connected with the D0 to D7. So in this case, these pins are acting as an input. So we need to understand this. And P2.5 and P2.6 are output pins for AT51, but they are input to the uh, ADC. So those are, those are connected with RD bar and uh, WR bar respectively. And uh, INTR pin, so this is indicating whether the conversion is done or not. So this pin, if it is connected to the 
microcontroller. A microcontroller will come to know if the conversion is done on the pin P2.7. Then accordingly, it will send the control signals. That is, uh, it will make uh, chip select will be made zero. Then it will send uh, the RD bar, and then it can read this. So when to start and when to read, uh, it is based on the RD bar, WR bar, and INTR. These acts as the control signals. Uh, D0 to D7 is a uh, data. So when uh, conversion is finished, we can uh, read the data. That is binary data, the uh, digital data of analog to digital. So this is a connection you need to understand. Uh, then based on this, we'll write the assembly code. So one more thing is uh, if you want to uh, reduce or increase the frequency. So in that case, additional frequency we can uh, connect. So here crystal oscillator is connected through uh, D flip flops here. Uh, D flip flops are used here to match the uh, frequency or uh, to synchronize the conversion or uh, with the 8051 and the ADC chip. So for that, we are using these uh, four uh, D flip flop. Uh, normally we use four to uh, five D flip flop to obtain the correct frequency for the ADC chip. So that in turn is connected to P reference is given with analog. Then this uh, clock R is open now. And these things are normal. Again, the same connections I will be making with uh, 8051 with a ADC 0804. So now let us see how to write a program in order to achieve an interfacing of uh, 8051 with a uh, ADC. So programming ADC 0804 in assembly. So first we need to declare all the port pins which are connected to ADC. Here we are declaring uh, using a, a directive called the BIT bit. Uh, P2.5 uh, is assigned to RD and uh, P2.6 is assigned to WR for indicating start of conversion. Then bit P2.7 is assigned to INTR. Here RD, WR and INTR just are labels, identifiers. Uh, but these pins are physically connected to the RD, uh, WR and INTR pins of ADC. So my data is a, just an identifier. It is equated with the pin, uh, means the port 1, 8 bit for uh, uh, receiving the data after analog is converted into digital. Then P1 we are making as an input port, so we need to assign uh, FF all ones to 8-bit port P1. Then set INTR, so initially you are making it as a one again uh, to make it as an input port. So that is going to indicate a microcontroller whether the conversion is done or not. So we need to receive a value from the INTR pin. If it is zero, a conversion is done. If it is one, conversion is not at done. So clear WR, uh, you need to give, uh, means the uh, control signal for start of conversion for the ADC. So first we make clear WR, then set WR. So you are sending a low to high uh, for signal to start the conversion. So then we need to wait for the INTR to indicate whether the conversion is done or not. So for that we write the instruction JB INTR here, jump if bit. So if Bit if it is set, so that indicates uh, conversion is not at done. So it will be waiting there itself. If it is done, so INTR becomes zero. Jump if bit will become false. So it will come out of the uh, loop. So there it will clear RD. Uh, if you are clearing RD means you are enabling for reading that uh, data which is available after conversion. So you are taking that data. My data is a, uh, you take means it is typecast for the port pin one. So you are reading. Uh, my data from the port pin uh, P1 and it is loaded into an accumulator. Then uh, if you want to display whatever the data you are read means after converting analog into digital, if you want to display uh, for that we need to convert uh, the data into a ASCII for displaying. So we need to uh, write one subroutine here for converting uh, X, uh, X value received to ASCII. Then to display that again one more subroutine we need to write. Uh, for displaying the uh, value what uh, you have got from the conversion then set bit rd for the next round again so if you make rd1 so you can go for the next round means again uh, you give the analog input to the uh, adc then after converting that into a digital you can read this so the same procedure it is followed so again says uh, s jump back again start the conversion whenever you give uh, input to means physically on the v reference uh, pin uh, v in pin then uh, based on that we are going to decide what is the analog uh, range you want to convert into digital then uh, you can start conversion uh, INTR if it is low conversion is done so you can read the data 
So this is how we can uh, write assembly code uh, for interfacing ADC with a uh, microcontroller. Thank you.